The Syncfusion Big Data Platform is composed of two key parts. An interactive environment named Syncfusion Big Data Studio that allows you to work with big data right on your laptop and a complete production environment that can run Hadoop jobs in a scalable manner on a full cluster. In this video, we will be walking through the installation of a production cluster using the Big Data Cluster Manager application. Download the Cluster Manager application from the Syncfusion website if you have not already done so. The Cluster Manager does not have to be installed on a machine that is going to be part of the cluster. It can be installed on any machine that is part of the same network and reach each machine to participate in the cluster. Configuring a complete Hadoop cluster can be tricky work. Once configured, regular maintenance is required. For instance, you need to be able to add or remove nodes. You will also need to monitor your cluster. The Cluster Manager application does a lot of the heavy lifting and enables you to have a seamless install experience. In addition, the Cluster Manager also lets you monitor and perform common tasks such as adding and removing nodes on your cluster with just a few clicks. Each machine that is to participate in the cluster needs to run a small program referred to as the Syncfusion Big Data Agent. The agent program just needs .NET Framework 4.5 or later. It does not have any other dependencies. The agent can be installed interactively if configuring a small cluster. The agent also provides a silent variant that can be deployed remotely using PowerShell or by using Active Directory. There is a lot of discussion around the topic of hardware selection for a Hadoop cluster. Hadoop can run well on a broad spectrum of hardware. For a starter cluster, we recommend machines with 16 GB or more of RAM and one or more hard drives of sufficient capacity for your needs. RAID is not required for data nodes since Hadoop handles redundancy in software. RAID may however be desirable for name nodes. When determining how many machines you will need, keep in mind that each block of data will be stored three times by default. So a 10 data node cluster with 4 terabyte per node of raw capacity may only have about 10 terabyte of actual storage after accounting for replication and space for the operating system and temporary data storage. We recommend that you start small and then scale up as needed. That after all is the promise of Hadoop. We will walk through the creation of a small cluster with 10 nodes. There are two name nodes that are required for every Syncfusion Big Data cluster. An active name node and a standby name node. A minimum of one data node is also required. Thus the smallest cluster that can be configured is a three node cluster. You can of course add as many data nodes as needed for your needs. Name nodes can be thought of as the primary entry point into a cluster. Of the two name nodes, only one will be active at any given time. Syncfusion Big Data clusters are always configured for high availability. Should the current active name node go down for any reason, there will be a seamless switch over to the standby name node. Data nodes are machines where the actual data is stored. Data nodes are also where data processing happens. When you progress to the next screen, your inputs will be validated. In order for a machine to participate in a Hadoop cluster, each host name should resolve to a valid IP address. Additionally, it is also important that reverse DNS lookup is configured properly on the network being used, and each IP address resolves back to the correct host name. The cluster manager will validate this and inform you if issues are seen. It will also at this stage check to see if it is able to reach the big data agent on each node. Additionally, it will also validate access to ports that are required for communication. If all is well at this stage, you can proceed to the next section. If some data nodes fail validation, you may choose to ignore them and still proceed with cluster formation. If the active or standby name node fail validation, you cannot proceed with cluster creation until issues reported are resolved. At this stage, the cluster manager will start transferring Hadoop packages and will perform configuration changes on each node. If all goes well, you should have a fully functioning cluster in a few minutes. Now that we have a cluster up and running, let us take a quick look at the monitoring system that is provided. As you can observe, key data about each node is available in a central location. You can also review job related data. Cluster Manager also lets you perform most common maintenance tasks. Once the cluster is up and running, we can copy standard samples into the cluster using a provided batch file. Production clusters do not come pre-configured with sample data. 
We can then connect to the cluster using the Syncfusion Big Data Studio and run test jobs. We took a quick look at installing a complete cluster using the Syncfusion Big Data Cluster Manager. We hope that you will download it today and get a head start on your organization's big data journey.